jealous courtier. Akbar's admiration for Bibal was popular. Bibal had earned a special place in the kingdom of Akbar. Because of this, one courtier had developed jealousy against Bibal. The courtier had always wished to be at the position at which Bibal was. That is, the chief minister's position in Akbar's kingdom. But his presence had made the courtiers wish only a dream and this angered him a lot. One day in the court, Akbar was all praises for Birbal and the courtier didn't like it at all. This made him furious. So he decided to stand up and express his hatred toward the minister. The courtier started accusing Akbar of being biased toward Birbal and praising him for no reason. Then he put up a challenge in front of Birbal, saying, If you are able to answer three of my questions, I shall accept that there is no person more intelligent than you. Akbar agreed to it. The courtier came ahead and stood up in front of Akbar and Birbal and put three questions to the emperor's favorite minister. The three questions were, How many stars are there in the sky? Where is the center of the earth? How many men and how many women are there in the world? After the courtier had completed asking the questions, Akbar turned toward Birbal and said, Birbal, if you fail to answer the question asked by our courtier, you will have to resign as the chief minister right at the moment and this man will take your position. Birbal noted in an agreement and said, Your Majesty, I will try to answer these questions to the best of my abilities and I hope that the answers will satisfy you. Then he brought a hairy sheep, looked at the courier and said, My dear fellow, the answer to the first question is that there are as many stars in the sky as there is hair on the sheep's body. You are most welcome to count the hair and tell us how many stars there are. For the second answer, he drew a few lines with chalk on the floor and bore an iron rod in it and said, This is the center of the earth, my friend. If you have any doubt, you can measure it by yourself. And for the third answer, he said, It is not possible to count the exact number of men and women as there are different species too, which are neither men nor women. So first, such species will have to be killed, then only the number can be counted.